work done in alternative processes connecting the same macrostates. The gas of problem 5.4 can also be brought quasi-statically from A to B in various other ways. In particular, consider the following processes and calculate for each the total work done on the system, the total heat absorbed by the system when it is brought quasi-statically from A to B. Process ACB. The system is compressed from its original to its final volume, heat being removed to maintain the pressure constant. The volume is then kept constant and heat is added to increase the mean pressure to 32 times 10 to 5 pascals. So this process A to C to B, so let me show it with red here. So this is uh, A to C and then to B, that is this one. Uh, another alternative process is ADB. The two steps of the preceding process are performed in the opposite order. ADB, so that's this red curve here, uh, green uh, path. This is ADB. And then finally, I have A to B. The volume is decreased and heat is supplied so that the mean pressure varies linearly with the volume. So this I show with black. Uh, this is the third possibility. Okay, so we want to know the total uh, heat added absorbed by the system and work done on the system. So let's start with what I called ACB. So ACB process. In this case, the work done from point A to point C is minus integral from point A to point C, P bar dV. I look at uh, the pressure uh, in this process, A to C, it's kept constant. It is uh, 1 times 10 to 5 uh, pascals. So this is minus integral from A to C, 1 times 10 to 5 pascals dV. So this is going to be minus 1 times 10 to 5 uh, volume at C minus volume at A. So this is minus 1 times 10 to 5. Uh, volume at C is 1. Volume at A is 8 times 10 to minus 3 uh, meter cube. So I find that the work done from A to C is therefore 700 joules. And the work done from C to B is equal to 0 joules because delta V is equal to 0 in that case. So you can see C to B is a constant volume process. This is an isobaric process, constant pressure. This is an isovolumetric process, constant volume. And therefore, the work done from A to C to B is 0 plus 700, which is 700 joules. Uh, how much is the heat added between uh, A, C, B? Well, the mean internal energy change, delta E bar, is equal to the heat added to the system plus work done on the system. So the heat added to the system is delta E bar minus W. Since the mean energy is a state uh, variable, I already know uh, the, the mean energy change from the previous problem. Uh, here, in this case, in the adiabatic process, I have delta E bar is equal to W, Q is equal to 0. So it was 3600 joules in problem 5.4. So this would be equal to 3600 minus 700, which is 2900 joules. So this is the heat added to the system in following the path from A to C to B. So delta E bar I can use from problem 5.4 because it's th it will be the same for all processes between the two points. Uh, the energy E bar is a state variable. 
it only depends on the macro states the macro states are uh, a and b in this case now i look at process adb process adb is the green one so process adb the green process in that case uh, i can see that the work done from a to d uh, let me see here a to d is isovolumetric is zero uh, because dv is equal to zero in that case this is isovolumetric process the work done from d to b on the other hand is a constant pressure process it is minus p bar times delta v it is minus uh, the pressure we see is 32 so it is 32 times 10 to 5 pascals uh, multiplied with vb minus vd it is minus 32 times 10 to 5 pascals uh, the difference in volumes uh, volume at point b is 1 at d is 8 so 1 minus 8 uh, 10 to minus 3 meter cube so uh, this will give me uh, 22,000 400 joules so therefore I find that work done from A to D to B is 0 plus 22,400 it is 22,400 joules and in order to calculate the heat absorbed uh, Q from A to D to B I just need to subtract from delta E bar w from a to d to b it will be equal to 3600 minus 22400 minus 18800 joules of heat absorbed which means heat was released in this process and finally the last one from a to b uh, that's the black path here so this is a to b Uh, now in this case work done from a to b will have minus integral a to b p bar dv where p bar is a linear function of volume it's mv plus n it's linear so i see what happens at point a at point a the pressure is 1 times 10 to 5 pascals the volume is 8 times 10 to minus 3 meter cube so it's m plus n and at point b i have the pressure is 32 times 10 to 5 pascals uh, the volume is 1 times 10 to minus 3 meter cube m plus n uh, so i can calculate what m and n should be from these two so uh, we can find that if you subtract uh, the second the first equation from the second equation 32 minus 1 times 10 to 5 is 7 10 to minus 3 m so I can calculate m to be minus 31 over uh, because it's 1 minus 8 it's minus 7 minus 31 over uh, 7 times 10 to 8 so that is m so if i substitute m into one of the equations for example let's take the first one 1 times 10 to 5 is 8 times 10 to minus 3 minus 31 over 7 10 to 8 plus n uh, you can calculate n value here uh, from this equation uh, or we can find the area under the triangle uh, plus the area under the AC line so um, basically th that's what we're trying to do calculate the area under uh, this curve so that's enclosed by this uh, curve going from A to B uh, so um, 
ACB triangle uh, is here. Uh, we can calculate the area under this curve and area under the AC line. Basically, that will give us the total area. So the work done will be given by the total area uh, going from A to C. That's the meaning of this integral. So uh, instead of calculating M and N values and taking the uh, integral from here, alternatively, we can calculate this area. Uh, the work done from A to B will be equal to the area. Uh, so you can see here I have AC distance is 7. So it is 7 times 10 to minus 3 meter cube uh, times uh, AB distance is 31, 10 to 5. 31 times 10 to 5 divided by 2. This is the area of ACB triangle. And uh, area of the AC line, so there is a, a one, uh, uh, 1 times 10 to 5 and there is a 7 times 10 to minus uh, 3. So that would be 1, 10 to 5, 7, 10 to minus 3. Three. This is area under uh, AC line. So this gives me uh, 10,850. This gives me 700. So the total is 11,550 joules. Uh, so this will be the work done going from uh, A to B. 11,000. 550 uh, joules. It's the area under this uh, line between A and B. Okay, uh, and uh, the heat added to the system will be then Q between A and B. It will be equal to 3600 minus 11,550 joules, it will be equal to minus 7,950 joules. So that's really heat uh, released. Okay, so if you wish, you could also calculate this n value here and do the, uh, do the integral directly using this uh, function it should give the same results. So, but basically work is the area uh, under uh, the curve that connects these two points. So it is minus integral a to b p bar dv. Uh, so the dv here is negative. So basically you can see that the answer should come out positive because the volume is decreasing from a to b. So uh, from a to b delta V is negative, it's a compression, so the work will come out positive. So it's the positive area under, the, uh, under this curve, so uh, absolute value of the area. So I can calculate the area under this triangle, uh, in, 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 enclosed by this triangle ABC, and I can calculate the area under the AC uh, line. So basically that, then I will have calculated the area enclosed by this whole thing here uh, uh, connecting points A and uh, B. So that will give me the total work done on the uh, gas. So it is 11,550 joules and the heat added is then the delta E bar minus W which is minus 7,950 joules.